I'll be showing you how you can increase the speed for your Shopify store in 2023. Speed is such a crucial part of having a optimized Shopify store as it's going to let customers open your web pages faster and it's going to reduce the overall frustration. So speed is a very important part you should be optimizing for. And I'll be showing you five different tips in this video, how you can optimize your speed in 2023. These tips all work together in conjunction. So make sure you stay until the end of the video. The first tip is going to be to remove any unneeded or extra apps from your Shopify store. All these extra apps will add extra JavaScript, which can lead to render blockering loading, which will slow down your page overall. Basically, if you think of your Shopify store as a gateway or a door, the more stuff you try to put in there, the longer it is to take everything to go through. So you just want to reduce the size and an easy way is to reduce the unneeded app. Now Shopify has gotten a lot better at getting apps on their app store to remove that code that is there, but it's very easy for you to check as well. If you're in your Shopify dashboard and you go to online store, you'll open up your theme section. And if you click on these three dots and go to edit code, now I've gone into more detail on how to do this as well in some of my other videos. But if you go to theme.liquid and you look for the bottom of this head section here. So if I search for it, I can find the bottom and you can see all the extra scripts that are loaded here. Typically the Shopify apps will include their name in the script or a comment. And so you can remove those if the app has been uninstalled. Now I would always recommend duplicating your theme before this. Another way to check is to use a B tester so you can see what's loading. And I'll go over that at the end of the video. The second tip here is going to be an easy one. And that is going to be ensuring that you're using a fast theme. If you use any of Shopify's approved themes here, they've all been tested for speed. And most of the new ones use Shopify's new 2.0, which ensures a fast theme as well. A great way to look at this is to look at existing themes on live stores and see how fast their stores are. And if they're using the same theme, you can have a good idea of how fast it is. You can also test the demo stores by putting them into a speed tester as well. Shopify's themes are a little more on the high end. They do have quite a few free themes as well that are optimized for speed as well. I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator that allows you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get detailed analytics to discover your store's true profitability. It's going to give you a variety of different metrics as well. So you can really have a in-depth insight into how your store is performing and what decisions you need to make. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your ad accounts, such as Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, TikTok, and Pinterest. And it's going to pull in all your other costs here from your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, and much more, giving you a very accurate picture on how much money you're actually making. If you search Profit Calc in the Shopify app store and look for this logo in the top left, or there's a link in a description to access the same listing. You can access a 15 day free trial. We can test drive everything for yourself. The third tip is to be compressing all your images. The human eye is very good at putting together little blurry images or background pixels that are blurry. So you can take advantage of this by compressing your images. This will significantly reduce the file size by optimizing things in the background, reducing their pixel size. And if you want to do it for free on a one by one basis, tinypng.com is a great tool. All you have to do is just upload your image and then download the result you can see around 60 to 80 percent compression most of the time i've even done the compression multiple times to get the smallest file size possible now if you don't want to do it on a one-on-one -on -one basis but you'd rather do it automatically the shopify app store has tons of apps out there that allow you to optimize your images using the same process and they can do so on a free plan or a paid plan depending on the number of images you have we'll just go through and take all your product images home page images and collection images optimize them and then re-upload them to your store automatically which is extremely convenient. The next tab here is going to be removing broken links from your store. These can be 404 errors or 500 errors. And these can add extra loading time and they're going to return an error here. And these links aren't going to do anything if they're broken. So you want to make sure you're removing them. It's really going to depend on the web page whether anything is loading here. But you can find these broken links using a website speed tester, which I'll go over again at the end of the video. If you search broken links in the Shopify app store as well, there are quite a few apps that help with finding any broken links. This can also help boost your SEO. SEO. SEO Manager has been around for a very long time. The same thing with Avada's image tool as well. 
an SEO and broken link finder. The fifth and final tip is going to be to use one of Shopify's various apps or even go through multiple of them. There's plenty of free apps that make it really easy to create fast Shopify stores. You can see this one by Booster app here is going to use browser preloading technology and the app can increase your second page load time by up to 3%. It's also going to load things when a customer is maybe hovering on an image in your page and it is completely free. It has an excellent 4.9 star rating. Next will be Avada's SEO optimizer. It's an all-in one app here that's going to help speed up your store it's going to do things such as automatic meta tag setup image size optimization as well as adding their alt tags it's going to do advanced seo analysis it's going to help structure your google data as well as broken link detection and there is a completely free plan as well that gives you quite a few options last speed app we'll take a look at is seo image optimizer and speed it's going to help implement things such as lazy loading which can help speed up your store one click seo image compressions image resizer and an alt text generator it's going to help fix broken links links and give you script control as well to help optimize your store overall. So for the last section in this video, I'll be going over GT metric. In my opinion, this is the best website speed tester as it gives you quite a bit of detail, all completely free. I find it's less confusing than using something as Google page score as a lot of those suggestions you cannot implement as a merchant on Shopify as they're gonna control a lot of things such as their CDN. And so those suggestions don't really make a difference to your day to day. So to analyze your URL, you simply just want to copy and paste it in this URL bar here. I'm going to put in Gymshark, which is an extremely popular gym apparel store, and it's hosted on Shopify. So I'll hit test your site, and this is going to add the job to the queue and then load all your details results. If we take a look at the performance report here, it's going to give you an overall grade. For this site, it's not very high. And it's going to tell you some key metrics such as how long it was till the first paint, which is when the largest elements became visible. We can see that's at 1.5 seconds, so that's not bad here. We can see the speed visualization at the bottom. You can see how things will be loading for a customer. You can see it took three seconds for the time to interact. You can see there was a lot of blocking though, taking around 886 MS. It can also give you some overall suggestions for the top issues as well as the total page size. So we can see that most of it is JavaScript followed by the images. And if we scroll to the top, here and go to the waterfall section this is going to give you a step-by-step -step breakdown on what's loading and how long it's taking we can see here there's this theme file as well as the javascript file here that is taking a long time to load which is probably a culprit in slowing down the page we can see things such as a four one error so we talked about fixing broken links here we can see this one some time to load as well and it's highlighted in red but we can see item by item of everything that is being loaded on this page so a great example for you would be to look through this and to see if there's anything that's taking a lot of time to load you can see some things are loading at the same time these are all loading at about the same time here we can see more things that are blocking as it goes through everything step by step so i leave a link for gt metrics in the description so you can check it out and test everything for yourself before i go i want to mention Profit Calc one more time. There's a link in the description to access the Shopify app listing. If you also search Profit Calc in the Shopify app store and look for this logo in the top left, you can test out everything with a 15 day free trial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.